hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching for tech it's been one month we have created a video on the last oxo noise c05 stable update for oneplus 9rt but the oneplus release a new ota oxo noise c07 this time they skipped the c06 and directly given c07 update yesterday new update has very short change log but today in this video we will see how to manually flash this update What's new they have added in the new update along with this performance check and the thermal performance using the CPU throttling. So don't skip the video, watch it till the end. Now without further ado, let's get started. On a new adventure. I am using OnePlus 9RT on the old C05 build but when I checked the about phone section for software update I did not got any update notification. If you guess the OT update notification here you can download it and just tap install it will get flashed automatically. But if you did not get the OT update notification like me then download the OnePlus updater application from the link given under the video description. It will show you the new OT Oxygen OS C07 with the 717 MB size. Here you can check the change log also, so I downloaded the update. In the same application, you guess how to flash the update manually. But as per that process, if you go to the about phone and in the three dot menu, I did not got any local update option. So I have given the OnePlus local update APK in the video description, download and install it. Now go to the file manager, see if your downloaded file will be found in the root of the storage. Like here, this is the 700 MB OTA file downloaded using the OTA updater application. Here also check the extension of file must be .zip file. Here it's already in a zip format. If you did not get this then manually change it to .zip format. Now open the oneplus updater application then tap on the right top gear icon. Here you will see the downloaded file. Then tap on it and tap on install now. Now flashing will start. It will take 5 minutes. Once done tap on the reboot to complete the flashing. So phone booted back and in the notification panel you get the finishing system update notification. Now let's check out the about phone section. Here you will see we are upgraded to the new latest Oxygenos 12.1 Android 12 C07. Here in the three dot menu we will see the new beta program for the updates. But as we did not got any beta so this tab is empty. If you tap on the Android version tab it's the same Android 12 version but the security patch is directly upgraded to the latest September 2022 while old C05 was on the July 2022. In the version tab, we can see the build number is now C07, except that the other things are same like the old C05 build. As per the another change log detail, now they improved the Alex activation issue. Now it's accessible without the issue why voice commands. I tried a few commands on on-screen mode along with the off-screen mode and it's working superb. Sometimes it feels better than the Google Assistant. Except these two changes, nothing new has been added in the change log, but this new update is much fluid and fast as compared to old build. I tested this build with the Geekbench without the performance mode and for single core I got the score of 827 and for multi core I got score of 3381. For old build it was 781 and 3187. So here results are a lot improved. I didn't test the Geekbench with the performance mode. Because results are already very good without that, so I don't recommend you to use the performance mode in any case. Now let's check the GPU performance on the OpenGL drivers. Here I got the score of 4633 while on the old build the score was 4745. Here these scores are slightly higher than the new build. For the Hulkan graphics I got the score of 4646 while on the old build it was 5561. Here I seen the major drop in the results for the Hulkan graphics API. But most of the application didn't use this API so it's not a major concern. Overall this build is the major improvement for the CPU performance. Let's check out if the performance is really withstand in the thermal test. So I ran the CPU throttle for the 5 minutes and 20 threads. I kept the CPU temperature enabled in the setting. Before starting the test temperature were normal like 38-37 degrees Celsius. So I started the test while testing CPU temperature was rising 50-51 to 51 degrees Celsius. During the heavy task, this temperature may rise up to 60 to 80 degrees Celsius and it's a normal. Once I stopped the test, temperature started to get normal once again. Here we got the 92% of CPU throttling which is very good score. On the old Oxygenos 12 build, I got this score where between 86 to 88% most of the time except the Android 11 builds. 
Battery performance was currently not tested for this build. I will report it back with the community post or the video. So stay tuned to our channel. This is all about the new OTA. I did not see any major issue in the update and it can be considered as a stable and the best OTA update for the OnePlus 9 RT on the Oxygen S12 till the date. That is for today guys. If you think I help you then please do like and share this video. Subscribe to the channel. Press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.